Hello everybody, Miss G here. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about tab stops and how that all works. Okay, so if you don't have your ruler, you must enable your ruler. So to do that, you're going to go to view, you're going to go to the show group, and you're going to make sure you enable your ruler by clicking in where it says ruler. If I take that little check mark away, you can see my ruler goes away. If I check in that little box, okay, then my ruler shall be there. Okay, so I'm going to back to home, and I'm going to my paragraph group, and then I'm going to click on my paragraph launcher. Now, a paragraph dialog box appears, and I'm going all the way down to where it says tabs. Okay, so my first tab stop, I want to uh, have a right tab stop, which means I want my tabs to, to end on five okay so that's why i need the ruler so i know where i want to tell microsoft word where i want the tabs okay so i want it to stop right here on five so i'm going to put in five and i want it to be a right tab stop so i'm going to click right i want no leaders which means dots so i'm clicking none i'm going to say set because you have to set it, and then you have to say OK. All right? So you see this left uh, tab stop? It looks like a, a backwards L. I mean, I'm, I said left, but I mean the right tab stop. It looks like a backwards L. Then that is how you know you have a tab stop on that number, 5. So I'm tabbing over, and I'm going to put in an address. OK? And I'm going to put in, again, an address. Um, and can you see what's happening? Everything is lining up on the right side where the 5 is. So I'm just going to highlight everything. And I'm going to make sure that I have no spaces and everything is single space so you can see it better. Okay? And there you go, and you can see that it's lined up, okay? Now, you don't see the tab stop down here because I didn't set the tab stop to be here. But if, you, if I tab up, you can see, if I click up, and you can see my tab stop, you can see my tab stop. But if I keep going down, okay, you don't see the tab stop, okay? Because I didn't set it there. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, let me just backspace what I just did out. I'm going to put in some random words. So we know to put in random words is equal. The equal sign ran, open and close for ran, press enter. It gives you some random words. So now let's say I want to set my uh, left tab. We're going to set a, a left tab, and this is kind of redundant because this is already um, left aligned, this, the paragraph. So, but I'm going to set my left tab to 1.5, okay? So it should be right here. All right, so I'm going to the paragraph group, clicking on the paragraph launcher, going down the tabs, and I'm saying left aligned. Well, you know what? One thing I forgot and if I don't do it, then you won't do it, is I have to make sure my insertion mark is where I want the tab to be aligned, okay? So I'm going to the paragraph launcher, clicking on tabs, and I said 1.5, so I'm typing in 1.5. I want it to be left aligned, no leaders. I have to set it, and then I have to say okay. Okay, now if I, you see the 1.5, the left L for left, Tab stop is set. If I tab in, it's everything is left aligned. That one sentence, okay? All right. Now say that I want to uh, clear my tabs. Now, the easiest way to clear your tabs is to go to the paragraph launcher, click on tabs, and you can say clear all and okay. Now, you have to go to where you want to clear it. Okay. 
clear all and okay and then the same with this one now you can highlight the entire paper and clear all and everything will be cleared okay now let's just back that up okay now just say that I want to center this information so I'm going to put my insertion mark where I want the tab the center tab to be set I'm going to say center it so I'm going to click on the paragraph launcher I'm going to click on tab and the center looks to be about one to about three and a half yes about three and a half so I'm going to say 3.5 I'm going to say center I'm going to say set no leaders and I'm going to say okay and you see you have a backwards T which this is center now I'm going to click here I'm going to do the same thing center 3.5 center no leaders set okay and there everything is center okay say that I'm on this side the right side of the address and I I'm putting in um, some uh, just some random words here um, okay and what I want to do is to uh, make Denise Scott Mathis Ferry uh, tab align a left tab align for five I just put my insertion mark where I want the left tab align click on the paragraph launcher go down to tabs um, it says 3.5 because that is the same line where it is set but I want to set another one F5 and I want this one to be left align <clears throat> the first one is 3.5 the second one is 5 I'm going to say set I'm going to say OK and I'm going to tab it over OK and you see <clears throat> it's now left align but the theory is to too uh, long to fit in so now what I need to do is just change my margins a little bit okay there we go and that makes it all fit all right now I want to show you a different um, tab alignment which is called a decimal alignment okay so I'm going to click in the paragraph launcher I'm going to say tab and say that I want my decimals set at 1.5 let's say that so I'm say 1.5 that's where I want my tab stop and I'm going to say decimal for alignment alignment decimal leaders none and only time I really set a leader is if I'm uh, creating a book chapters in a book and then I would uh, have the leaders other than that I would not have leaders okay so I'm going to set it and I'm going to say okay okay so you see this little um, upside down T with a dot that's a decimal line so I can put $500 okay and my next one I'm going to put 0.60 and the next one I'm going to put 200 and the next one I'm going to tab over and put 0.1 you see what's happening everything is lining up via the decimal so let me just uh, make sure everything is single space you do not add spaces between paragraphs on the same style and say okay so you can see it better and you can see the decimals are perfectly aligned so you would use the decimal alignment if you're dealing with numbers all right i hope that clears everything up about tab how to set tabs and tab stops all right have a great day bye bye